Okay, this is the Kelly Alius Joins Panther. Um, again, this is a pretty lazy one. It's still looking quite well. As you can see, the back bulb depleted itself. The reason why I didn't cut it just yet is because it has this eye which has some green to it. I'm not sure what he's gonna do, but this little bulb is not rotten. That's the thing, it's just depleted. So I'm not worried it's gonna infect the other bulbs or anything. I'll just leave it there because I don't know what this eye is doing. However, we do have an available eye that looks pretty fine on this orchid. It's here. I don't know if it's plumping up or not just yet. The pseudobulbs have substance to them, so it's not like they're paper thin or anything. Um, they do not shrivel further, not that I can see, so things are moving slow. Maybe this orchid is waiting for something. Again, it might be that type that um, creates a new pseudobulb once a year or maybe in a specific se season. I don't know, but yeah, we do have an available eye here. The orchid is looking pretty okay given the circumstance. Doesn't really make me nervous, but I just think she's lazy. So that's what's happening with this one. And this is the Potinara Chief Sweet Orange. Again, this was a pretty lazy orchid. However, the past week some stuff has happened. Alrighty, this one has started new growth and I'll show it to you. It's right here, looking quite well. This orchid again looks okay given the circumstances. I do have substance in these pseudobulbs. They're not that far along gone. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about this one. And the new growth is starting. That's pretty fine, but it took four weeks. So as you can see, some of them take longer than others. Um, and you can never know with these hybrids. Okay, this is the BC Maikai Spotted Star. This is one of those that I truly, really, really want. However, it's a lazy boy. I think he's a boy. I don't know. What I do though is I spray the roots every day because I just think there is some life in them. They're stiff, they change color, it might help the orchid, so that's what I'm doing. And as you can see, the pseudobulbs and everything don't look bad. Hmm, I'm not really worried, but I would really like to see some growth starting. We do have available eyes. I would not mind some new growth, really. Please, please start new growth. As I was checking it further, oh my goodness, I see something. Alrighty. Hmm. I'm not sure if I lose it now. Where are you? Okay. This root right here. Do you see it? Do you see the little tip? It's growing. We have a root growing. She's doing something. Thank you. I absolutely love this one. I would be absolutely devastated if I lost to this one. She is pretty rare. I really want this to live. And this, this is a good sign. I'll take it. Thank you. And this is the BLC and Cleo. It's really hard to fit her in the frame because she's tall. Again, this is one of those orchids which is absolutely lazy. There's really nothing happening. She came with this root, which is quite viable. So what I do is I spray it, I water it every day so it hydrates the orchid. And as you can see, she's not looking all that bad. However, she has a multitude of eyes that are really not doing anything. So she's a lazy, lazy girl. I really want this eye to grow because he's looking fantastic, but it just takes a while. Maybe she's that type of orchid which has a specific growth. I don't know. I just consider it lazy. Not worried about it, but I wouldn't mind new growth, really. And speaking about lazy girls, this is a Calia Harrisonia Alba. Again, she's looking well, no worries, but she's lazy. So as you can see, we do have eyes right here. We have, oopsie, this eye. We have this eye, which I think is plumping, but very, very slow and this eye right here. So again, I would not mind some growth starting. So yeah, why don't you grow? Again, just one of those orchids which is lazy, but overall does not look like it's on the verge of death. So that's good. And here we have the leafless division of Chialin New City. Okay, this is a question mark. I'm saying this because, one, we don't have leaves, but theoretically Calias should be okay with this whoa too much but also hmm, i don't know about those available eyes no available eye here really we do have something here but it looks kind of damaged we do have something here but it's kind of tiny again i don't know what's happening this orchid really does not look like she's on the verge of death as you can see pretty plump though wrinkly However, yeah, it's um, it's making me a little nervous. I would really appreciate some new growth. But yeah, this is how this one is doing. And this is the Calia Labiata Alvim. Again, pretty big girl. I cannot really fit her in frame. Um, this one, she's lazy as well. Does not look 
really that bad really not at all however we do have an available eye here looking good but it does not want to plump up and start growth so yeah maybe she's just lazy does not look all that bad but hmm yeah this is what's happening with this one okay this is a cute one this is the selagini pandurata you might know that already we have two growths growing on this one but lately i've discovered the root as well and i just wanted to show you how Absolutely pretty the root is. Let me see. I don't want to damage anything. Do you see it? It's orange. It's red orange. It's right here. Not sure if this camera picks it up, but yeah, we have a root there. For this reason, I'm just moistening the stem a little bit here. We're fine, don't worry. But yeah, there's a root coming out from this growth. So happy. And it's the reddest, orangest root I've ever seen. It's so cute. And we have this growth right here. Um, no root just yet. Not that I can see. There we go. So this one is doing quite nice. We have the root starting. Um, alrighty, this one has the bad habit of actually climbing. She's always producing pseudobulbs higher and higher. I have an idea of what to do with this one when I move. And yeah, you'll see. We're hopefully gonna do something quite cute. Okay, and here we have the Calia Cornerstone Compass. Again, this is one that gives me really the hibijivis. <laughs> I'm nervous about this one and I'll show you why. So you can see it's kind of shriveled and it's shriveling kind of fast. Something's consuming energy and I'm not sure what because there is really no new growth. So I'll show you. This one had an available eye right here, but it's yellowing. Let me see. Maybe she tried to grow it and failed. Maybe it was damaged. It looked damaged. However, if I look closely, I think I see another available eye here. But it's quite tiny. Let me, let me just take a closer look. Yeah. And I think that's the only one. I think this is our only chance. This little thing right here. Am I in frame? I don't even know. Yeah, I think... I don't know. It makes me nervous. Because she's consuming energy somewhere, but I don't see where. Not sure. Not sure what's going to happen. So, yeah, I'm trying to be realistic. If this one does not make it, it will not surprise me. This growth was damaged or something happened to it. But here, this eye, yeah, please make it. And this right here, if you didn't know, I like to call this one a ticking mold bomb. Yeah, I made this arrangement for this one because she is a very bad girl. I'll show you why. But I'm trying to keep the humidity high because she's depleting herself uselessly as you'll see i would never actually do this for any orchid because if i'm not careful everything will mold so fast if i put holes in this thing there's not enough humidity it's tricky to do this kind of things but when you have nothing to lose or somebody's not behaving yeah you do this so <laughs> i'm trying to keep the humidity really high for this one because she's doing some strange things i'll show you what so the name of this one is Calia Percivaliana Summit Crust with Centro Remolado. Alrighty. It, it's absolutely horrible. Looks horrible. Really limpy. Really dehydrated. I'll show you why. This is a new growth. Theoretically, it should start producing new roots like the other Galil Calias, right? Wrong. Look what she's doing. She's growing new growths. One here and one here on the new growth. No, you're not supposed to do that. Right now, it goes against your nature to do this. You need to produce roots. This is a new growth. This is how you do things, remember? You forgot how to cat layer. But yeah, this is what this one is doing and it takes a huge, huge toll on it. Creating two new growths at the same time when you're actually supposed to create roots and you have this new growth trying to open and consuming energy as well. Why? Why would you do that? I don't get it. Whether it's a faulty hybrid or a faulty individual, I don't know. But I'm not willing to give up on you just because I love you. Um, so what I'm doing it, I'm keeping it very, very humid to reduce the transpiration thing and loss of water. But it's really not okay what she's doing. For the life of me, I don't get it. It goes against its nature horribly. But there you go. You have surprises, even bad ones with orchids. You never know, but I really, truly, truly hope for new roots because really, this is a new growth. It's supposed to create roots right now. And I was out of focus. What's with you? What? Tell me. 
What don't you like? Anyway, let's put her back in her humidity, bombish like chamber. And these are all the orchids. As you can see, I have two losses out of 26 orchids, a few question marks. And I think we're doing quite well considering what these orchids are. And they are back divisions or seedling divisions without roots. None of them had roots. I think we're doing quite fine. We have to be realistic and uh, realize that some will not make it. Really depends on individual as well. And about this one, I don't know the species too well. Maybe the species creates roots a year and a half after the new growth starts. I don't know. Maybe that's what's happening. But I'm doing my best with this one as well. I normally don't hassle like this because I normally don't have to. But you know, I'm taking that extra step to do my best. So we'll see what's happening. Alrighty, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll add in the description the previous updates and also how I did this ICU and also when I received the orchids so you see how they looked like. I hope you'll enjoy it. We'll see another update in two weeks. Hopefully there is going to be a lot of things, new things happening. So wish me luck with these guys. If you'd like to stay up to date and see more orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a regular basis. Also feel free to leave me questions, suggestions for videos or whatever you'd like to share with me in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!